Hey girlies, it's Jonah82, and I want to do um, a series of thank you videos to my YTFB sisters that have sent me gifts. Um, yeah, but I want to do a separate video of my face of today, so I'm going to try to get in the habit of doing that when I can't do a tutorial for my look. If you are, um, if you girlies are interested in that, um, me, you know, trying to do that in between tutorials, um, please leave a comment below and I will definitely do it. So for right now, until you let me know what you would like to see, I'm going to just give you, um, go through what I have on my face today. So today I am still using my Maybelline Define Brow and Dark Brow on my eyes. I am still concealing with the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. And once again, I'm level 9, which is the lightest shade. Um, to me, these, like I said, these look the same. I use this side um, under my brow, and I use this on top of my brow. But before I do my brows, I go ahead and um, use this as my foundation. After I use this, I buff in the top concealer um, to blend together. I set with my MAC MSF in medium dark. Um, let's see. On my lid, well, my eye look, I just use um, the 24-hour L'Oreal Infallible in 407 Gold Imperial. And I applied it with my finger over my whole entire eye. So, this is the only color that I use. And it's a pretty, pretty gold color. A champagne like gold is really beautiful. Um, let's see, let's see. I lined my eyes with my Physician Formula. Um, Felt Tip Market in Ultra Black. Mascara, I used my L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. And let's see, on my cheeks, um, I fell in love with something that has been in my collection for ever. I just haven't used it because I was so intimidated by this product, but I had the courage to use it this week, and I have been in love all week with this blush. And this is the NARS blush, and it's in Exhibit A. And it's this is a beautiful color. Uh, for women of color and this is why I decided to get this blush it's a red blush with an orange undertone it's kind of like a tomato red if that makes sense so this has been giving me life like I've been doing neutral eye with this and I don't know if you can see it on camera if you don't have any NARS blush everybody's saying orgasm but I think LaFemme has um, a dupe for that I can't think of it offhand, but if you know, please leave it in the comment below. I would definitely get this. I would definitely get this. And now I'm considering um, doing starting a NARS blush collection, which is not a good idea for me because these are $28 each. But it this is worth the $28. I don't know if all of them are, but for me this is because I don't have anything in my collection that's this color. Maybe some things that come close, but no true dupe for this color. I love it. And what I've been wearing to complement that, which goes so well with it, is 970 Pretty Persimmon by Wet n Wild The Matte Lipstick. And to me, this just is the lipstick form of this blush. It's just a red with the orange undertone. And to me, they are one and the same. So I'll give a side-by-side -side comparison. And that's what I have on my lips, of course, during the face of the day video. But, guys, these go together so well. So well. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't do anything dramatic with the eyes because the lips and cheeks are dramatic enough. I just don't want my face to be <laughs> looking too busy. <laughs> but I'm loving these two together love 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 um so that's basically it um i kept it simple like i said i just let me do a swatch of this um that's what it looks like this is the gold imperial and you don't even need a lot that's just one little quick swipe right there and that's it right there very pigmented and i didn't use it wet like i said i just simply if this was my eye, I just simply and rubbed it in 
blended it out and that that was it I was in a rush didn't have time to look for brushes do a crease color highlight no it was easy my finger or nothing so yeah and for brushes you know I'm still on my real techniques um, use this for um, foundation the expert face brush and for blush I of course I use the blush brush and you can tell look at that I will be washing brushes today and I can't find it but of course I use the powder brush for my MSF to set everything and I'm not sure if I set my face with the Avion spray today I don't know and you guys what is making me fall in love too with this definer brow here I use nothing to really set it with like I don't think I used Avion spray but it's not like a true setting spray but um there has been days that I didn't use any type of spray and this thing stays put I'm not using the elf uh wet gloss or anything and my brows are not going anywhere and that's what I love about this I mean I love the wet and wild pencil don't get me wrong but uh, most of the time, by the end of the day, especially if I have my wig with the bang and I'm constantly tucking on my wig or flying my bang out my face, by the end of the day, my brows are gone. So yeah, this is just my quick face of the day. Um, I'm thinking about um, doing face of the day videos in between tutorials, so the days I can't film my face of the day, I can do videos like this. So just let me know if that's something that you would be interested in by commenting below. And that's something I will definitely start and get in the habit of doing. So I'm going to get started on my thank you videos. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next videos. Bye.